If you want to use these to charge one of these, then you'll need a home charger that comes with solar integration. In this video, I'm going to explain how they work and what you need to do to get your car powered by the sun. I'm going to take you through the process that will enable you to use your own solar or even wind power to charge your car. And hopefully this is something that eventually will be used by many of us. Now, because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you've either got solar panels installed or you're seriously thinking about it. Well, the next thing you need to think about is a charger that's compatible with home generated energy. So this Evios One unit, for example, was designed to work with solar installations right from the start. And it's got some really neat features that have been built into it. Now, there's actually no physical connection between the solar panels and your charger. The charger uses a clever sensor, so it knows exactly how much power is being generated by your solar. It then matches the input from the panels with the output that it's sending to your car. This Evios One unit has a special pure green mode that means the charger will only use what's being generated from your panels. You can use this if you're not in a hurry to top your car up and you want the cheapest and also greenest possible charge. Now, if you do want to charge like this, well, you need to be aware that like all electrical appliances, your car needs to be receiving a certain level of power before it will charge. For an electric car, this is around 1.6 kilowatts. So if your solar panels aren't emitting that much power, then your car, it simply won't charge. If you need to charge and the sun isn't out, which yes, does happen a fair deal in the UK, you can choose a different mode on this charger. Pure speed will draw power from the fastest source it can find, which will be the mains. Or you can just hit the boost button on the app or the unit and the charger will override the solar only setting. Of course, the question most of us want to know is how long will it take to charge my car purely from the sun? And that does depend on quite a few factors, including the size of your solar array, the size of your car's battery, and of course, the weather. So let's say, for example, that we have a four kilowatt solar array on our roof and it's in direct sunlight like this all day long. Now, the Citroen here has got a usable battery capacity of 45 kilowatt hours. So if you do the maths, that means we would need almost 12 hours of direct sunshine in order to fill this car's battery up from empty. Now, clearly, we don't tend to get 12 hours of direct sunshine every day here in the UK. So an empty to full charge will probably take at least a couple of days if you want to charge purely from the sun. But it will be able to keep the average driver topped up every day for their daily driving with free green energy. 